What is up my crypto legends? In today's episode, we are going to look at this potential inverse shoulder head and shoulder pattern from an analyst of the Bitcoin Census team. You can check this article in this technical analysis on the Bitcoin Census website, link in the description, and you can see that we are potentially going to form this pattern here as you can see on the chart. We'll be doing this technical analysis today. And also the dollar index is gaining value. This is why potentially the price of Bitcoin has been dropping for the last few days. And also if you're interested in trading, make sure to check out the Prime XBT leverage trading platform. You've got 50 different assets and you use Bitcoin as collateral. If you're good at Dow Jones or crude oil, you gain Bitcoin. If you're interested in accumulating Bitcoin, you can trade all these different markets. If you use my link in the description, you'll be getting 50% in addition of what you deposit if you use the Bitcoin Census promotion code. So you deposit $2,000, you'll be getting $1,000 to trade with, guys. We'll be checking out the Bitcoin breakout signal shows top crypto likely heading to $100,000 as investors choose BTC over gold. And Bitcoin bull run is still in the early stages key on-chain indicator shows. So all of this, guys, in today's episode, make sure to smash up the like button and subscribe for coming updates. And let's go straight into the video. Hello there, Andy here, and welcome back to another episode of Bitcoin Census, where you subscribe for the quickest technical analysis and news on Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, and the financial market. I'm not a financial advisor, so don't buy or sell anything that I say. And if you do so, do your own research. Said this, let's go straight into the charts. Okay, guys, taking a look at the one hourly chart, we did mention yesterday a potential cup and handle formation here with a lot of noise. But as you can see, the handle failed miserably. We did break to the downside, the $48,000, $5,000 area that I mentioned yesterday. It would invalid this pattern. But we can see that we are forming a bigger pattern here, a possible inverse shoulder, head and shoulder pattern. So this support level needs to hold nicely, which is the $45,300 range. As you can see, it's been major support here. And we did just wick down, well, we did go down here for a couple of days. And now we're potentially forming this right shoulder. So if this holds nicely and we continue to the upside and go to the $52,000 range, we could potentially see a nice inverse shoulder head and shoulder pattern. This meaning if we break this resistance area to the upside with a huge amount of volume, well guys, this is it. Get your moon boots on because we are going to the upside. We are also getting support from the uptrend. We are in a bull market and also from this descending wedge. This descending wedge pattern, the target would be the top of the wedge, meaning that we need to test the $58,000 range. So we are creating a bull pattern on top of another bull pattern that has broken out. So I'm expecting that these levels are going to hold nicely. The $45,000 range is crucial which is the left shoulder it is the peak of the left shoulder if we go below the left shoulder guys well then it's very bad news for bitcoin we might come and retest the forty-two thousand dollar range which was the all-time high of early january as you can see here on the chart so this also needs to hold nicely so potential inverse shoulder head and shoulder pattern if we do not break below the forty-five thousand dollar area which is the left shoulder now i want to show you on the 15 minute chart we can also see that we are potentially forming this descending megaphone pattern, which is a bullish pattern also. And as you can see, it is forming nicely. And we did have a little fake out down here in the support area. The breakout of this megaphone pattern, if we break to the upside, is getting the wide bit of the megaphone pattern. And if we break in between today, and tomorrow, this would take the Bitcoin price to the $51,000 area, almost nearly retesting $42,000 range. We might get another push up. Guys, we need to break out the $48,500 range. It is major resistance, as you can see here on the chart. We have multiple points there, here, here, also there. We did have a little fake out here, came back up. It acted as, as support here. And once we broke below it, it acted as resistance. So we do need to retest the top here of this downtrend, as you can see on the chart. 
and potentially break out of it, guys, so we can come and retest the $42,000 resistance. If we manage, if we manage to get all the way to the $52,000 resistance and we break that resistance with a huge amount of volume, guys, we are potentially going to come and see the $60,000 range in the next coming weeks because the measured target, if this is an inverse shoulder head and shoulder pattern, you would have to get the head to the neckline and from the breakout, this target would be around the $60,000 range, as you can see here on the chart. Let's take a look at the dollar index. We can see that the dollar index is pumping like crazy here. We broke out from this descending wedge that was formed in 2020, and this is potentially why the Bitcoin price has been dropping for the last few days. We can see another descending wedge here created in early 2017 and 2018. Once we broke to the upside, we had a good rally, as you can see. We are potentially going to see this for the next few weeks, meaning that this is not good news for the price of Bitcoin in the short term. But in the long term, we can see this diamond reversal pattern and this measured move from the breakout, as you can see, we did break out a few weeks back. This would take the dollar index all the way down here, meaning it is going to lose a lot of purchasing power. And this, I think, is going to be good for Bitcoin. Let's take a look at this news over here. Bitcoin breakout signal shows top crypto likely heading to $100,000 as investors choose BTC over gold. Mike McGlone, a senior commodity strategist from Bloomberg Intelligence, says Bitcoin appears to be heading to $100,000 as it edges closer to replacing gold as a reserve asset. The analyst suggests that the GBTC, which is the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust price drops, along with the CME traded BTC futures trading significantly higher, suggests the world's leading cryptocurrency has formed a solid foundation. McGlone goes on to say that the top cryptocurrency appears to be in the process of replacing gold as a growing number of investors now choose Bitcoin over the precious metal to diversify their portfolio. He says that the change in investment Investment preference comes as Bitcoin undergoes a decline in volatility. Annual Bitcoin volatility will decline below that of Amazon.com in a few years if past pattern prevails. Do you think that Bitcoin is going to overtake gold in market capitalization as a reserve asset? Let me know in the comment section, guys. Let's take a look at this on-chain data. Bitcoin bull run is still in early stages. Key on-chain indicator shows the Bitcoin rally is still at an early stage, according to one key metric, despite of the overnight pullback. The price of Bitcoin saw a minor correction on the day of the global stock market pullback. It dropped by nearly 8% in the last 24 hours, but the Bitcoin bull run is still at an early to mid stage. According to William Clemente, a cryptocurrency analyst, Glassnode Reserve Risk Indicator shows that Bitcoin's rally is still in the early to middle stage. As Clemente explains, the reserve risk is defined as price hodl bank. The indicator is used to assess the confidence of the long-term holders relative to the price of the native coin at any given point in time. And here in the chart, we did talk about this chart a few days ago. You can see here in the black, we have the Bitcoin price and the reserve risk chart here in the orange. In 2013 and 2014, as you can see, when we entered this red box, this is alert zone. It is time to potentially sell because the price is overhyped. You can see 2013, the peak here and the 2014, the peak here in the price. And in the orange, we were getting into this red box territory, which is the risk area where you potentially want to start taking some profits. Also in late 2017, we can see the reserve risk hitting the red box territory and in the black here, the Bitcoin price peaking at almost $20,000 and people starting to take some profits and entering this multi-year bear market. And in early 2021, we can see the reserve risk still halfway from the 2013, 2014 and 2018 peak here in the red box. So we potentially have still a lot more upside to go for this rally. Reserve risk is still relatively low compared to previous peaks. It shows that Bitcoin is not at risk of nearing a macro top. Reserve risk of Bitcoin is at half the level seen in 2013, 2014 and 2017 when the price of Bitcoin crashed by well over 50% and entered a bear market like I showed you here 
on the chart. Despite the weakness in Bitcoin over the past 20 hours, it is performing well considering that the global stock market has seen a significant drop. And the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones dropped about 4% in the last few days, so meaning that there is still a small correlation in between Bitcoin and the stock markets. Also, drop coincided with uptick in exchange deposit. Meanwhile, CEO of CryptoQuant warned about an uptick in exchange deposits as the price of Bitcoin dropped below $50,000. When whales deposit Bitcoin into exchanges, it typically indicates an intent to sell. High net worth investors often keep their cryptocurrency holdings off exchanges. So when you see a transaction of 1,000, 10,000 Bitcoin suddenly into the exchanges, this is a selling indicator because usually they would keep their cryptocurrency, their Bitcoin on wallets. So when you see, you only take the Bitcoin to the exchanges to sell for fiat. So this is a selling indicator. And this is why potentially the Bitcoin dropped in the last couple of days. But in the longer term, however, the outlook remains bullish as the illiquid supply of Bitcoin continues to increase. In this chart here, we can see in the green is the increasing illiquid supply. So every time this goes up, there is less liquidity on exchanges, right? Here we can see in the black, the Bitcoin price almost hitting $58,000. And we can see that people started to sell into exchanges. So the illiquid is going down, meaning that there's more liquidity on exchanges. And since we had this drop, the illiquid supply is going up, meaning there is less on the exchanges, which is extremely bullish. The CEO of Moskovsky Capital also noted that strong holders are ramping up their Bitcoin position. As long as strong hands and high net worth investors are continuing to accumulate Bitcoin, the bull trend is likely to remain intact. In addition, the high time frame market structure of Bitcoin remains compelling as it broke above the $46,000 level, establishing it a new technical support. This is, we mentioned this before in the channel doing the technical analysis that the $46,000 range with the VPVR, we did see a huge amount of volume accumulation around the $46,000, $45,000 area. If we break these levels, it is very likely that we come back down to the $42,000 area, which was the high in early January. Guys, this is going to be it for today's episode. Make sure to check out the Bitcoin Sensors website. We've got great tutorials and reviews on how to buy and how to store and how to trade Bitcoin safely. We've got the latest news and technical analysis. So I'll be leaving a link in the description. And if you haven't seen my tutorial of the Bybit Leverage Trading Platform, I'll be leaving a video popping up on your screen. A massive thank you for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next one.